in Creole Parametric, there is a surfacing command called Flatten Quilt Deformation. And it's easier to show you what this command does rather than try to explain it. And it's very much related to a flatten quilt tool, which I'd shown in a previous video. All right, before we do a flatten quilt to kick this off, I'm going to create a couple curves on the surface for the seat. I'm going to use the shift key to select these two, then do a copy and paste and hit the check mark to get a copy of those edges as a curve. Let's do the same thing for these two edges. I will select them using the shift key and then copy, paste, and hit the check mark. I'm just getting some curves to show you one of the things that flattened quilt deformation does. Okay, in order to use flattened quilt deformation, first you have to have a flattened quilt in your model. So I'm going to use flattened quilt and I'm going to select this entire quilt. I just tap the right mouse button to query to the quilt. I'm going to hold down the right mouse button to activate the origin point collector and select a datum point in here. And so by doing this, we end up getting a flattened quilt. Let's hit the check mark to complete that. Now that I have a flattened quilt, we can do a flattened quilt deformation. And there are two different main ways to use this. And the first way is if you take a look at the surface that I flattened, let's hide this one over here. You notice that the curves didn't go on to the flattened surface. So if you want to get those curves on the flattened surface, you can go to the flattened quilt deformation command from the surfaces overflow menu. And first thing it wants you to do is to select a flattened quilt feature. I will select this one over here. Let's go to the References tab. And so here I have a collector that allows me to take those different curves and put them on the surface. But before I do that, I have to change which mode that I'm in. There are two different modes that you have here. One of the modes, if I hover my mouse over it, allows you to modify a reference geometry to transformation from the flat to the bent. And the other one allows you to go from the bent to the flat. That's what we want in this particular situation. So I will select that button over there. Let's click in the collector to pick the curves. And I will select this curve over here. Let's hold down the control key and grab that other curve that I created. And that way we get those curves. Let me hide the originals those curves now onto the flattened surface. Okay, let's show the other main use of the flattened quilt. And I'm gonna create some solid geometry. So let's say that, all right, we have this in the flat. Hey, let's use some extrudes in order to create some geometry. And let me explain the other function. The other function for flattened quilt deformation, you can use it to take other surfaces and solids and then bend them back to the original quilt. Okay, so let's create some geometry so I can show that to you. Let's start off by creating a sketch. I will sketch on this surface over here. I'll hit the middle mouse button to get into sketch mode. And I will use the project command and then loop and pick this surface over here so I just get all the edges of that surface. Let's hit the close button and then check mark. And with the sketch still selected, I'm going to extrude this, not to such a big value. Let's change this. Let's try a value of 0.5. And so now that flattened quilt has some thickness to it. To make it a little more interesting, I am going to create another sketch that has a logo on it. Let's select this surface over here. I will use the sketch tool from the mini toolbar. Let me go to my sketch view. And I'm gonna bring in some geometry. And by the way, right now I have, oh, there, there's dimensions constraints. Everything is displayed. I'm about to clutter up my screen like crazy. Let's go to file system. And I'm gonna navigate to where I have a logo on my computer. Here we go. Let's grab this logo. It's like, oh wow, way too many entities. I'm gonna proceed anyways, and I'm just gonna drop it out here in space. And let's change the scales a little too big over here. 
let me zoom in and zoom out to repaint. And I'm going, going to drag this in a moment. But yeah, there's way too many entities. This is my old company logo. It's got that corny swoosh that all aerospace companies use. Yeah, right now it's too cluttered to see anything. Let's turn off dimensions and constraints. I'm just going to get rid of a bunch of the entities in here. Oops, way too much. I'll swipe a box over a lot of this stuff. Hit the delete key on the keyboard. Get rid of some of the other entities. Yeah, I'm so glad I got rid of this logo. Okay, so here I have the entities over here. I want to use this to create a cutout on there. So let's swipe a box over all these different entities. Then I'll use rotate resize. And I'm just going to drag everything and just eyeball it on here. About there is good. And hit the check mark. And so there I have my sketch for my next feature. Let's hit the check mark to get out of sketch mode. Let's use the extrude tool and let's change the depth to 0.25, half of the original depth. And let's flip the depth direction. So it's actually going to remove material, a little indentation in there, and that's good. And hit the check mark. So now I've created a surface and I've got a little cutout in there. And I want to bend it back to the original flattened quill or to the original surface before it was flattened so let me bring back its visibility let's now go to the surfaces command and i'll go to flattened quilt deformation and again the first thing that I wants you to do is select a flattened quilt feature uh, let's select the flattened quilt out of the model tree this time we will use the default mode where we're going to take something that's flat and then bend it oh yeah by the way if you are using Pro Engineer Wildfire 5.0 and earlier, in other words, if you're using Pro Engineer around 2000 or earlier, this command used to be called bend solid for taking what I'm doing right now, taking solid and bending it back to a quilt. So the geometry that we want to select, I could select the solid over here, but an easier way in Creo Parametric 7.0 is I can just select the body and it grabs all the geometry. And you can see how it is bending it to the shape of the original surface. Let's hit the check mark. And there we have the geometry that's bent over here. Let me take my original flattened quilt. And I'm going to hide that over there. Let's hide the flattened quilt deformation as well so I don't see those curves. So again, that's what the flattened quilt deformation does. It allows you to either take curves and edges that were on the original surface that was flattened and then project them onto the flattened quilt. Or if you develop some geometry on the flattened quilt you can bend it back to the shape of the original surface and that's what we have over here which is a nice way of getting my logo cut onto this surface nicely i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindchill.com if you learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like this video please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.